guys welcome back to the Jenny's world one more time um this is a video if you see about the title it was a, another question that was asked off of instagram um would i get married again hold on i have something going on on my phone there we go it says would i get married again and the answer is yes um, so if you're confused, like, what are you talking about if it's Instagram? You know, you ask those stories in, on your Insta story. And this is one of the questions that was asked from, um, one of the people who followed me on Instagram. Would I get married again? And the answer is yes, I would get married again. But now that I had been married before, it taught me a lot of things in such a short period of time. It really did. It shot, it taught me what marriage was supposed to look like, what it was supposed to be like, it showed me that. And because it showed me that, it realized it's, it is something that, it is something that I wanted, that I didn't know that I actually wanted because I, I was so afraid of it for the purpose of getting divorced and not being with someone who you do all of that with. And that's exactly what happened to me. I just chose the wrong person. And maybe I would never get married. You know, maybe I would never, I was never supposed to be married. I don't know. Cause I don't have the luck of fine, of, of good picking, picking good men or whatever, or whatever is going on. I don't have that luck or luxury. And I was okay with that, you know? Um, but with now that I was married, it, I did learn that it made me a better person being married. I had a lot of goals and dreams that I wanted to accomplish with my husband. And I liked saying that I was married. I liked rocking a ring. I liked being taken off the market. I liked the validation that someone seen you valuable enough to say, I want to be married to this person. Let me take this person off the market. She's mine and I am hers. I liked the support system that you had. I liked the, the companionship and you sharing your life with someone. It was so many positives and it being married so many positives um you get used to what i got used to in such a short period of time of my routine of being with someone the sanctity of it you know when you have sex with that person you are having sex with your husband who you vow to be with all that like the intimacy between you and your husband no one can shake that no one can break it because that is something that that is your relationship with your husband. And no one can tell you what to do with your husband, right? So I loved it having that support system all the time with Maurice. I loved it. Um, uh, having somebody to be there. I love that. You know, I love it. When I couldn't do something, I delegated delegated stuff to him to do. He made it easy for me to do a lot of things. And I appreciated that part. You know, I really did. Uh, I appreciate it. Having uh, uh, just a support team. Yeah, I just, I just really do. So with that being said, would I get married? Yes, but I wouldn't rush into it. No, I would not rush to it because it's so hard to get out of it. Like you married the wrong person like I did. It was so hard to get out of it. It's just so fucking hard to get out of a marriage. Like mine, mine would have went quicker if I would have, if he would have corroborated quicker, it would have went quicker. It wouldn't have lasted as long as it did. Like, but it, as long now that I am divorced, I know that I would never, I would rush into that again. Like I, I just, there's no reason to, there's no reason to, um, just, uh, it's just no reason to just like my last, as my dad said, the next person who comes into my life, vet them do go do what I used to do my kids never even seen men I can be with a hundred men my kids will never see them they never saw them you know what I'm saying they never saw them for a reason like or a reason for what what do you what do you want to see them for like for what like what why 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 do you need to see them like the only person that they saw was their father and that was the only person they needed to see I'm like the, what, what I did with my personal business was not theirs. I would always go to the person's house. And if they wanted to see me, I would meet me outside, take me out, but come into my house. No, like, no, 
my kids are there and you don't need to be in their space because I don't even know if this is going to work out. If it ended in two months, nobody got hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, nobody got hurt. So it was fine, you know, but the next person that I do get married to, if ever that happens again, um, they have to be like-minded, like period. They have to be like-minded. They have to want exactly what I want. They have to be completely done with the streets. They have to completely be done with chasing hoes and being with other people. And they just have to be completely, that shit got to be out of their system. And they just have to absolutely want to be with you and be a family man and nothing else matters to them, but their, their household. That's, that's what I want. If their outside entities is everything under the sun, but you, I don't got time for it. If they want the streets and be selling drugs and be running the streets all day, I ain't got time for it. If they don't have the respond, the, the mentality of you and the responsibility of your household and your bills and everything else, I ain't got time for it. If they are selfish and not selfless, because it's selfless to have a family. It's selfless to take care of people. It's selfless to think of other people but yourself. I ain't got time for it. If he is not all about, I want to be a, a monogamous relationship at our age, I don't got time for it. When you're in your 20s, uh, it's hard to be monogamous because it's too many fish and it's, it's too many options in the world when you're in your 20s. When you're in your late 30s, when you're early 30s, I still get it. When you're in your late 30s finna turn 40, knock it off. Like, really, knock it the fuck off. Like, so you know right now, like, in your late 30s, you know now. Like, okay, I'm getting old. Time is ticking. Time is running out. I'm playing. I'm still playing these street games. I'm still, you know, out here bouncing around. I'm still doing all this shit. That's fine. You. That's a young, that's a young person's game. I am getting older every day. My body's breaking down every day. As you guys are seeing my story unfold right before your eyes. You're seeing everything that's happening right before your eyes with me. I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time to be, I don't have the energy nor the time to be chasing after a man who don't want to be kept. If you don't want to be kept, bye-bye. Like if you want to, you know, whatever, I don't have time for it. I need the next person, my husband, to be on the same page. We're on the same mission. We want the same things. You know, our desires are the same. He have his children. I have mine. He have his job. I have mine. All that, you know, I don't want the same shit again. So that's why if I ever get married again, if God says that that's something that I want for you, that you have your companion, you will have your, your helpmate. I hope him. I hope he send them to me, send them to me. You know, I'm open to him sending me the person that I'm supposed to be with the person that's going to change my life. The person's going to make my life easier, not harder, not somebody who's I got to fight with, argue with, yell at all the time. He has to be able to Think for himself, stand on his two feet for himself. He don't need me for shit. I need him. You know what I'm saying? We equally need each other to feed each other's mental, physical, emotional. But other than that, outside of that, financially, we don't need each other at all. He needs to stand on his own and I need to stand on and we enhance each other. Not I enhance him or he. No, no I want e us to be equally yoked. Our religion is the same. What our beliefs is the same. How we treat each other is the same. How we treat each other's children is the same. I want us to be equally yoked. Him have respect for my my uh, people in my family. I have respect for his people, his family, my friends. We need to be equally yoked, okay? If we're not equally yoked, I don't want him. It's just that simple, okay? This is simple. So the answer to the question, once again, it's not going to be a very long video. It was just right to the point. Will I ever get married again? Maybe. Do I want to get married again? Absolutely. I really do want to get married again. But it has to be the right person in the, in the right time. Um, he has to be treating me with respect, treat my children with respect. No infidelity, certain things I'm just not going to tolerate, period lying, cheating, abuse, you know, all this stuff, disrespect. I'm just not going to tolerate, period. Like, so he needs to come correct if I'm going to be married to him. But at this point, it's in God's hand. If God wants me to be single, I will be single. If he wants me to be married, I will be married. It is in God's hand. Whatever God has for me, that's what I will do. But at this time, I'm stepping away from dating. As I said in my last week's video, I'm stepping away from dating for a while and focus on Gigi.
or Riri, whatever you want to call me for short. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.